Here's a plasma ignition setup for um, two opposing piston uh, experimental engine where I need um, the spark plugs to fire 180 degrees out of phase. This is the quickest, easiest way for me to do it with with these type of units. Uh, basically, these are the uh, low budget MSD units. Um, they're good units. Uh, it's their, I would say, budget brand, but they're good quality. Each time this triggers, it'll blast about six to seven uh, capacitor discharges into the primary of an ignition coil. Um, these are the switches. These are on number one, on number two, and then these switches will put the high voltage diodes into the circuit for the plasma. And that's plasma one, plasma two. Uh, these diodes are about 20,000 volts, two amps. These used to be about 25 bucks a piece, but they're now they're now only about a um, couple bucks a piece on eBay. Those prices are really coming down. And then these coils, these are a flamethrower three. Uh, by Pertronics. The reason I'm using those is because they have the lowest resistance primary I could find, which is one third of an ohm, which is perfect for these uh, cap discharges into the primary of the coil. Uh, spark plug cables, these are zero ohm cables from uh, solid steel core cables, eight millimeter from Granatelli. Uh, literally, there's virtually no resistance in, in these cables. And then um, resistor free spark plug. Um, and the way I'm going to trigger this is, well, first of all, I have these cables here. These are the positive. Uh, each one has a positive wire that goes to the battery, and each one has a smaller positive wire that's wired in series with one of the, the power switches, and that's where you give power off or on to these units. And then we have all the grounds grounded. Now the trigger, there's two different ways to trigger. Um, well, first of all, this gray wire here is for a tachometer, which is not going to be used. Uh, the gray or uh, green and purple, these two wires are for a magnetic pickup, and um, the route I'm going is using the regular white wire, which is a trigger, which basically when it gets dropped to ground, then it'll trigger. And so the white wire I have coming into this transistor, this is a little TIP type transistor from Radio Shack, it was easy enough for me to get. And so the wires, that white wire is coming into the collector, out of the emitter, back to ground. And what's triggering it is across the base and the collector, I have this wire here, which is basically going to a reed relay. I'm not using the, uh, the coil part in here. I'm just using a reed switch. And I'm going to use this old SG. This is the first one I ever made years ago. Um, I'm just using that magnet to swing by the reed switch to trigger it to simulate a magnet on a crankshaft where on this type of engine that this is going to be um, uh, this prototype is for it's only going to be one magnet on the shaft and so each time it comes around and triggers one of the uh, one of the reed switches it'll fire that that respective plug this has nine on here, or four magnets, but it's not going to make a difference. It's basically just showing the point. So anyway, we'll uh, start it up and uh, give a little demo here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this thing. Um, this right here, I'm going to turn the power on. And this is just going to run it in regular multiple spark discharge mode, which is very classic. We'll cap discharge to the primary to coil and again the coils you want these are some of the best ones I've used flamethrower 3 by Pertronics these are 0 0.32 ohms or so per on the primary one third of an ohm that's very very low um, let me look over here um, this is going to be grounded to the engine block because that's what the spark plug is going to be um, grounded to so that's why I have these green wires but normally this that's going to be grounded to the engine so um, we got the power on on both units and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this SG this is again just going to simulate a magnet on a crankshaft which should be adjustable so you can uh, set where you want the timing okay so you see you can see the spark on both plugs you can see that spark there You can see it here. And so 
it's important that with these reed switches you do not want them this way because that's not how it works you want them this way okay so that's the MSD that works just fine I'm going to speed it up a little bit there's all these little non-linear tuning zones in these um, transistors for this is a MJL21194 and just as a side note a lot of people are just letting it get up to speed by itself but there's ways to manipulate the bass to bring it in and out of these different zones and you can you can switch gears and go faster and faster it's buzzing away pretty good at the spark plugs Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch on the plasma, which is going to be these outside ones here because that's going to turn, put the diodes in the circuit. So now we should be getting the plasma blasts. You can look at what's just going on in the spark plug there. At both plugs. What's important to understand is that when you see the regular multiple spark discharge, it's not really that impressive, but for the exact same amount of joules of potential energy in the capacitor, just by putting one passive component in it, I can increase the power many, many, many times per discharge for the same energy because it's, being dis it's causing a negative resistance effect across the whole circuit, which is allowing the capacitor to discharge at an accelerated rate. Basically these are the power power cables, this black one and this red one that goes to the battery bank. This negative one here with the eyelet on it that gets grounded to the body. You have two of these reed switches, one goes to each unit, to each um, coil, and those are what you're going to have to mount 180 degrees apart from each other by some magnet spinning on the crankshaft and then these red wires here one wire is from each diode that needs to go to the top of the spark plug inside the boot um, you just have to get cables that are long enough you can uh, use cables that are meant for a capacitive discharge ignition you can get them from any car parts store locally I don't know what length or whatever you're going to need but um, this wire here needs to be connected to the top of the spark plug inside the boot. This one for this spark plug and this one for this spark plug. And that's about it. So just let me know if you have any questions.